Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my top six tips when it comes to buying luxury items for less. Over the years, I've learned that there are items that will never go on sale, such as Chanel classic bags that you should just buy full price before a price increase. But then there are also a lot of luxury items that are really popular that I can absolutely get on a sale. So if I can save some money on these luxury items, there is no reason to pay full price because you can use the extra money for your other purchases or put the extra money that you saved into your savings so I thought it might be really helpful to share my tips with you and for each of the tips I'm going to show you a real life example from my own collection that I scored on a discount so that we have some eye candy also I thought it would be the perfect timing for this video because I've just purchased a pair of Valentino shoes and I've saved over 50% off retail price so I'm going to be unboxing this in a few minutes so this video has been kindly sponsored by ShopTagger. A lot of you probably already know what ShopTagger is, but for those of you who don't know what ShopTagger is, it's pretty much an online tool that lets you save items that you're interested in buying. And when these items go on sale, ShopTagger will alert you via email, or you can also download a mobile app so that you can receive push notifications. So I've been using ShopTagger for a while now. I found out about them through some of my favorite YouTubers. So when I got the chance to collaborate with them I was over the moon to work with them it is really easy to use so I'm going to show you exactly how to use it in a minute so my first tip is to not miss a sale and the best way to not miss out on a sale is through using shop tagger so popular items that go on sale usually sell out really really quickly so by the time you check the website sometimes they're completely sold out or they're just gone in the popular sizes so I'm going to quickly show you exactly how to use shop tagger so you can always be the first to shop sale. So first of all head over to the ShopTagger website you need to sign up and then log in. I've already signed up so I'm going to log in with my Google account. Once you sign up and log in you will be directed to this page so go down and connect now to grab your ShopTagger extension. It's taking me to the Chrome store. Click add to Chrome, add extension. So now we have the Chrome extension there. So you can see the shop tagger button right there. So now everything's set up. So all we need to do is head over to a store that we like to shop at. So for me, I'm going to head over to Farfetch. So now you can look for something that you'd like to buy. I really like this Zimmerman dress. So I'll click on it. So when you get into the item, you can click on the shop tagger extension right there. And this window will pop up. You can choose your size. And you can choose when you'd like to be notified. So for me, I'm going to leave it as any price change, but you can also select 25% off or 50% off. So you're only notified when the item is on a discount greater than those amounts. And save the item. So once you save the item, then now you can go back to your shop tagger page. Your dashboard will pop up with all the items that you've saved. So now when your item goes on sale, you'll get an email notification to let you know that the item has gone on sale. Also, if the item that you've been after has been out of stock, ShopTagger can alert you via email when the item comes back in stock. You can also download a mobile app and you'll receive push notification when your item goes on sale. The other thing I absolutely love is you can organize your items into different categories. So I've got clothes, luxury handbags and shoes at the moment. So you can keep your wish list organized. And just one more thing that I wanted to show you is this share with my friends feature so you can actually share your wish list with your friends and family on different social media platforms or by sending them this link to your list so as you can see it is super easy to use shop tagger and it is completely free to use so I'm gonna leave a link to shop tagger down below in the description box so you can check out shop tagger download it and start using it straight away and save some money so shop tagger has allowed me to save about 800 Australian dollars on these shoes so I had this item on my wish list. I've also talked about this on my 2019 wish list video. So if you've watched that video, you probably already know what's in the box, but I ordered it through Luisa Villaroma because they had a massive sale on it. But guys, literally, if I hadn't jumped on it straight away, I wouldn't have been able to get it. It comes in this beautiful box and there is a receipt, but I'm not going to show you because it's got my details on it. And it is beautifully packaged. Comes wrapped in this beautiful ribbon. So let's undo the ribbon. And to get into the box, 
we can see the Valentino box, the classic red Valentino box. So I've just taken the Valentino box out of the Luisa Aroma box. It is a pair of rock stud heels. When you open the box up, it comes with the standard beautiful dust bag for the shoes and some extra studs and extra heel tip. And getting into the item, I can't wait to see what it looks like in person because as you guys know, I've been wanting this item for a while, but here they are. I picked up the Valentino Rockstar sandals in the high heels in the color gold. I'm gonna take them out of the box to show you. And I'm also gonna take all the tissue papers out. So I've just removed all the tissue papers how beautiful are these shoes? I absolutely love them. I mean, I'm a massive fan of Valentino Rockstar heels in general because they just are very well made. So they are completely in gold color and the Rockstars are also in the champagne gold hardware. So the retail price of these Rockstar shoes is actually 1400 Australian dollars from most retailers and from Valentino itself. And for the longest time, they didn't go on sale. So I had this item on shop tagger list for a while, at least three months actually and the other day I got a notification that this went on sale so when I checked them out from Luisa Vieramo website they were actually half off so they were reduced to $700 from $1400 but I also had a 15% off coupon code so that brought the price down to $607 I actually couldn't believe my eyes because I was almost thinking maybe this specific style of Rockstar shoes just won't go on sale because they just weren't going on sale for the longest time but as soon as I saw that price, I just couldn't resist and I ordered them straight away. So I've saved something like $800. And when I checked back on the Luisa Villaroma website, maybe half an hour later, it was completely sold out. So if it wasn't for Shop Tagger's notification, I wouldn't have been able to get my hands on these beauties. And they're the exact pair that I had on my wish list from 2019. So I could not be more thrilled with this pair because I actually don't have any luxury pairs of shoes that are really dressy. My second tip is to sign up to email newsletters from online luxury department stores such as Farfetch, My Teresa, Netapote, matches fashion they all do email newsletters and when you sign up to their newsletter you'll get an email every single time they have an online sale whether it be end of season sales or a blanket discount which will give you 10 or 15 percent everything on their website which is really fantastic so shop tagger is a great tool to be notified of any sales but there are some retailers that won't be on shop tagger but there are some times that these online luxury department stores send out unique discount codes to certain customers so just a week ago one of my good friends actually received an email from matchesfashion.com and they actually sent her a unique code and I'm pretty sure not everyone got it but it might be quite random. I didn't get one but she got a code that gave her a tiered discount. So if she spent $900, she'll get $150 off all the way up to if she spent over... I think it was $1,500 and she'll get $450 off of her purchase. So it is a really good idea to also sign up to these newsletters because they do unique codes from time to time. My third tip is to shop through mobile apps. So most online luxury department stores also let you shop through their app and sometimes they have coupon codes that you can only use if you're shopping through their app. I'm sure it is partly to encourage people to download their apps and shop through that but whatever the reason if you can get the same items through their website or through their app and you save 10-15% on the app I mean why not? And a really great example of that is this very top that I'm wearing for this video. So it is a new Balmain top, in fact, that I picked up just last week from Farfetch. I have been eyeing this color for a really long time. You guys know how much I absolutely love Balmain tees. I've got two tank versions as well, one in the black and one in the white color. And they both have the gold buttons and gold logo. So I've been eyeing out for a few different colors. And then I saw that Farfetch was doing 10% off if you shop through that 
app. So I immediately went into their app and added this and I ended up getting 10% off, which was a really good deal because Farfetch's price was lower than a lot of the other retailers already. And they had my size. I picked it up in the size 34. All my Balmain t-shirts are actually in the size 34 and I've just been loving it ever since I bought it. So that is my third tip is to download the app and shop through the apps. My fourth tip is to take advantage of reward programs. My personal favorite rewards program is through a credit card. I know that credit cards are super controversial. I mean, a lot of money gurus will tell you not to use a credit card, but if you are very smart with your credit cards and you take advantage of all of their reward programs, but you pay off your balance each month, then you're not paying any interest or any fees apart from your card fees and you get to use the benefits of great reward programs. So I have an American Express card with David Jones, which is a department store here in Australia. They stock a lot of luxury goods and they have a lot of luxury concession stores as well. So that is my favorite rewards program. So each dollar that I spend on my credit card with David Jones, I get two, three or four points depending on where I spend the money. And then I can redeem those points to receive David Jones gift cards. You can select a lot of different ways to redeem your points, but that is just my favorite thing because David Jones always has nice things. I mean, they've even got Chanel shoes and all of that. So just recently I had enough points for two or three hundred dollars. So I ordered the gift cards through my points, which didn't cost me anything. And I went into David Jones. They have a St. Laurent concession store and I ended up picking up this amazing uptown pouch, which I've done a full video on. This pouch was $615 and I think it looks damn good for something that cost under $1,000. And because I had those gift cards that I got from accruing points on my credit card, this ended up costing me only half of its full retail price. So with credit card points, you're going to need to pay bills and buy groceries and you know buy things that you need to live your life. So why not? if you can be responsible, accumulate those points and get some money off your shopping. My second last tip is to shop around. So apart from your big three luxury brands, Chanel, Hermes and Louis Vuitton, a lot of the other luxury brands are stocked on a lot of different websites, such as the ones that I've mentioned before. On different websites, the prices actually vary. So a lot of these websites stock brands like Saint Laurent, Chloe, Loewe, Valentino, Balmain, you name it pretty much everything apart from the big three that I mentioned before. It doesn't hurt to do a bit of a comparison. And a very good example that I showed you in a previous video is my Chloe Faye wallet on a strap. And the full price for this was 1100 or so. So most of the websites had it up for $1,100, but then I found out that on Selfridges, it was selling for $745. And of course it is brand new. So I ended up saving quite a decent chunk of money. That's something like 30% off. But what I've also found is that they don't have the price increases all at once. So for example, when Gucci puts their price up with their bags and shoes and things like that, sometimes Gucci will put the price up, but these online retailers such as My Trees are far fetch, matches fashion, they don't immediately put the prices up, but sometimes there's a few days or few weeks lag between when Gucci puts up their price and when these retailers put up their price. I have witnessed that before, so it doesn't hurt to check different websites when it comes to the same item that you can buy from different websites. And then my sixth and final tip is to shop duty free when you're traveling. This is a really obvious tip, but I thought I'd include it on this list because I take advantage of the duty-free shopping quite a lot. So whenever I do have plans on traveling, I kind of wait until I am traveling and buy things on duty-free. Of course, you do have to know your country's laws and regulations. So for Australia, you can buy duty-free things take it out of the country and bring it back into Australia to the limit of 900 Australian dollars. So whatever costs less than $900 that you purchased as duty free, you can actually bring it back to the country without paying duties back. And that's per person. So I have a really good example. A couple of years ago, I went traveling to Hawaii with my parents and my brother. And so because there were four of us, our limit was $3,600. So I took advantage of that and purchased these Gucci so her disco bag at the time it was 1300 Australian dollars they had a few price increases since absolutely adore this bag I used it to death when I was in Hawaii and 
and when I came back and to this day is still my go-to travel bag because it is a good size and it's so comfortable to wear crossbody. I ended up saving about $120 Australian because I got it at a duty-free price and because it was under the limit of $3,600 combined total that we could bring back into the country, I was safe to bring this back. So Gucci bags, although they are listed in the online department stores, they often aren't included in their blanket discounts like 10, 15 percent off your first order or if you purchase through the app Gucci is usually always excluded so I took advantage of the duty-free shopping while I was traveling and I managed to still save about 10% off retail price which is amazing because every single dollar counts and you're traveling anyway why not take the discount? So that is it for this video, guys. There were my six tips when it comes to shopping luxury on a discount. Again, if you do want to score your luxury items on your wish list on a discount, check out Shoptega. As I said, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description box. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about anything at all, leave them in the comment section below. I will get back to you and I love chatting with you guys. And I can't wait to see you again in my next video. Bye, guys. You're my bitter one taking me home